Yo, what up? This is your boy Keisha and Baratunde, straight from Paris, the streets of Paris. Brooklyn, Blue Paris. Yeah. Ici. Etienne Marcel. You know, it's. Uh, mayor. The mayor is here. The mayor. Etienne Marcel on Four Square. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's the night. We're just here chilling. Uh, it's midnight. And it's a uh, lovely day in Paris. New t shirts. What do you want to ask me? So I'll, uh, here's the thing. A couple of questions. First, it's dark. Yeah. You have the sunglasses on. There's no sun. What's going on? Explain the sunglass situation, please. Well, everybody that I look straight in the eye fall in love with me, so I'm trying to protect you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're good. Okay. Okay. I, sh I should have known I was asking for trouble when I asked yeah. you Yeah. Because we're not far from the, 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 gay, the gay area. <laughs> I don't want any accidents to happen. You see? All right. Thank, thank you for protecting me from your yourself. I appreciate no it. You're very selfless. I like that. I like that. <laughs> so, I like mankind. <laughs> how, many, how many years have you known that what you're doing now is what you're meant to do? 20 years. All right. Yeah. All Maybe right. more. Yeah? Maybe more, but I think... Uh, <laughs> I'm one of these lucky few that were able to be on the right path. Yes. People, every time I met, I met uh, those people that talk about strange stuff. It's, they always tell me you are very central, exactly where you're supposed to. Be. Yeah, I'm lucky to have this. I'm doing exactly what I should be doing. If you tell me, yeah, what, 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 was there something that you wanted to do that you didn't? Yeah. I, really, I had no idea what I would do if I didn't do that. If I had to do something else, it would be not far from it because it's everything I love. I love music. I love the internet. I love people. And that's all I do. I speak with people every day. I meet new people, I travel all around the world, I sing, and I always fly. Twitter, Facebook, Foursquare, Koala. <laughs> one, one more question. Tell me how much you miss MySpace. Not at all. <laughs> I mean, well, MySpace used to be cool because fucked a lot of girls from MySpace. That was back in the days. Now I'm... I'm now I'm a girlfriend now. <laughs> but before... Yeah. I mean, it was the MySpace days were cool. The thing is, before you even... Before you try something, it's like... it's like I remember I had a... I had a, I had a Mac. Mm -hmm. uh, like, five, six years ago. It was super slow. One operation was simple. Gosh and blur on, on Photoshop would take like 15 minutes. But I used to deal with it because I've never tried a fast Mac Pro that would do a gosh and blur in one second. So once, before you even test something better, it's all you have so you're you used to it. But the day Facebook arrived, Nope. It's gone. Ciao. Nice. So Facebook is like the fast Mac Pro yeah. of social networking compared to what you have on my yeah, I don't know if some I don't know at that point if any any social network could arrive and take the place of Facebook. The way Facebook took the place of everything. Right. Because Facebook killed MySpace and the sand. YouTube. No, I used to go to MSN to chat with people. Yeah. I used to, to go to MySpace to, to, to see profiles and network and promote my music. But now with Facebook and Twitter, I do nothing else. You know? Nothing else. All right. to, to connect with people and I mean not. I don't know. If there's something else to be done. Yeah. I'm not sure. Like in, in the way the computers are done right now, yeah. I'm not sure. And, and, and with the way they keep 
improving their product. Even MySpace, even if they reinvented themselves, yeah. I'm still not interested. Not because I don't want to try it. I tried it, but I was like, they still don't get the point because they're trying to keep what they are, but they don't understand that they need to drive the best of all these of Twitter and Facebook and do something very different. They can't do it. I don't think they have the culture. Facebook guys, Mark and all them guys, they have a, I think they have a, a different culture and they, they, they're ready to disrupt. Okay. I think. That was Keisha, Mr. Shada on social networking, the future of Facebook and the past of MySpace. R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> and the future of music is now. Because people think music is dead, but yeah. it's just getting interesting. As an artist, yeah. right now, you can just do whatever you know, Just put out songs. Look at all these girls. Look at this, this little girl. She was 10? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Look at this You girl. can't say look at these girls and I'm not going to look. <laughs> look at this girl. And she was 10 year old, uh, 10 year old girl. She, she played that song from Lady Gaga on, on the piano. Yeah, yeah. She got like 10 million views. Next next thing you know, she's on stage with Lady Gaga. Yeah, performing. yeah. You too. Do you know any musicians, because you've been doing this for so long, and they actually miss the former culture? They miss more structure? They miss the different layers of middlemen and management and a certain level of certainty about... You have to go this way, and then you get the A&R guy, and then you get the deal, and then you do the promotion, and the marketing, and the tour. And a lot of is, it, them. is it too much freedom for some of them? I know a lot of them, yeah. because they're lost. Yeah. Because people like us are different, because they grew up wandering and dreaming of this social media networking. But most of these older musicians that knew about the CD, about, you know, you're just there, somebody pays for everything. They just lost. They, a lot of label artists, and industry people were not ready. Just give you an example, TV. There's a lot of networks that don't want to let people view TV episodes the day it airs. People like me are ready to pay for the content the day it comes out in the U.S. We want it. We don't want to wait. Just give me the content and I'll just pay like whatever amount to have it. But what they do is they just put it on a Hulu or whatever, but you cannot view it outside of the U.S. So what we do... So they, they still don't get it that we're now in the in in philosophy of the instant. People are not interested in waiting. Once it airs, I want it on iTunes. I'm ready to pay up front. I'm gonna pay like 20, 20, Euro, 20 euros, no problem, to get like the whole season. And the day it airs, the next day you see my computer. To me, it's perfect. I would never. Like, you know, I used to download a lot of songs until I got iTunes. Yeah, yeah. Ever since iTunes arrived in France, I started buying all my music. Yeah. It would be the same for music and uh, for television, yeah, yeah. television and, and films and whatever. If it comes out the same day, I'm not interested in going to make a video or all, all, all the sites. Yeah. But I do it because I have no choice. And that's what all these networks can understand, but it's the same thing. These people are not ready. They're not ready to, to leave what they used to do behind. Because everything is, you know, everything has their own place, advertising it here. This guy is here, the middleman is here, the middle middleman is here. And it would, it would be a, a total shift of the whole thing. And a lot of people are not ready for that. But they have to. Because it will slip out of their hand if you look at the, the, the Netflix. People like that are so incentive that out of points, if you're not 
with your is with your error. You're gone. If you're not with your error, you're gone. Very quotable, man. I like these sound bites. I like this. We gotta, we gotta, quote me, quote me. <laughs> it's, your, me it's your camera. <laughs> quote yourself. <laughs> Yes, I'm Mr. Shada, interviewed by Baratunde in Paris. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for your hospitality, France. I do appreciate it. I'll be back. <laughs>